Hey everyone, Ravi here from Llama Index. So in this video, um, I'll show you how you can build a RAG application with uh, inline citations. So previously, this is uh, known as citation query engine, uh, which gives an inline citations in the response generated based on the nodes or the uh, specific context, right? So uh, let me uh, just brief you what are inline citations mean. Uh, let's say I have three source nodes. Uh, uh, S1, S2, S3, these are source nodes that are retrieved based on which uh, a final response has to be generated. Okay, uh, without an inline citations, uh, the response is something like there are four sentences in the response, sentence one, sentence two, sentence three, and sentence four, right? And then we don't know which, uh, how these four, four sentences, uh, I mean, from which of the source nodes, these four sentences have been generated, right? So we want to know, okay, sentence one is generated from uh, source node two, sentence two is generated from source, source node three, and uh, uh, accordingly for sentence three and sentence four, we want to know that. So that's what uh, response with citations mean. So you have sentence one and in the brackets, you mention source, uh, source node one, and sentence two uh, in the brackets, you mention source node three, and sentence three and source node two, and sentence four, source node one. So this is uh, the format which which uh, we want the output, okay? And so how can you achieve that? So uh, that's how the uh, citations with query engine is designed and uh, have adopted implementing citation query engine uh, with workflows. So let's uh, get started with it. So you need an open AP, um, which I have set earlier and we'll use Polygram uh, as a text here, okay? And so this is a workflow, right? Uh, you start with indexing data and then use the index to uh, retrieve the relevant nodes. Once you have the relevant nodes, you add citations to the relevant uh, nodes, right? Uh, using the retriever. So basically you add uh, what is each node. What is the source node one, uh, S1, source node two, S2, source node three, S3, source node four, S4, right? And then once you have these nodes ready, you send it to synthesizer module and get a final response. So uh, workflows are uh, done uh, based on the events, right? So here there are a uh, few events. An event to pass retrieve nodes to the uh, create citations event and then uh, an event to pass uh, citation nodes to the synthesizer. These are the two events. So we'll see how you can uh, use these two events to uh, get the citations. So uh, this is a retriever event and this is for uh, create citations event. Uh, you need to add citations to the nodes. So here are the prompts. So uh, there are two different prompts, right? Uh, QA template prompt and refine prompt. So here is it. Uh, please provide an answer uh, based on uh, the provided sources. Uh, and also here is an example. This is source one, source two, source one and source two. And this is the query. And you can see the uh, answer here, right? So the first sentence is from source two and the second sentence is from the source one. So that's how you are expecting an answer here. So you pass the context and the query information along with the source numbers. And even in the refine template also, similarly you provide a similar example, few short example, and then uh, get an answer. So while adding uh, the citations, uh, you can create more uh, chunks. I mean, I have uh, kept a default size of default chunk size of 5 to 12 and default citation chunk all above 20, okay? Now let's see how you can define these events. So this is the workflow, uh, citation query engine workflow. You have two events, retrieve and then uh, uh, create uh, citation nodes and then finally uh, synthesize. So in the retrieve event, you basically get the query and uh, and uh, you retrieve, uh, create the retriever and get the uh, nodes uh, for the given query and then send it to the create citation nodes. In the citation nodes, what happens is you split the text in each uh, node into smaller chunks based on the default chunk size and chunk overlap, and then uh, create the site uh, source one or source two uh, accordingly, and then send those nodes to the final synthesizer. So here you get the nodes, and then you use sentence splitter here with uh, citation chunk size and chunk overlap and iterate over all the nodes, get the text chunk uh, for each of these nodes and add. So here you can see source and then uh, the number. 
and then the text chunk and then create a new node for it so here accordingly um, and you can see how uh, many number of uh, new nodes created here right once the new nodes are there you send it to the response incisor to generate an answer so this is llm and then citation qa template refine template and then uh, response mode is compact and then um, use async true get an response and finally send it yeah now uh, once it is done uh, you can use the workflow here and uh, so you load the documents uh, index the document okay and create a workflow and start running uh, by sending the query and the index so and then you can check the citations how many number of nodes are there B uh, yeah new nodes have created same number of source nodes will be there so uh, let's run through it i think i have run the initial uh, download data so yes so let's create these events and then set the prompts and chunk sizes and create the workflow then create the index so and then once index is created you initiate the workflow and then run the query what did the other two growing up so it retrieved two nodes because the default is similar to top case two and then a uh, number of nodes created with citations is four here okay so uh, since we whatever nodes were there we iterate each of these nodes and create chunks uh, based on the uh, chunk size and chunk overlap so the number of nodes will increase you can always set the default chunks uh, citation chunk size as uh, uh, the default uh, chunk size as well and then run accordingly that way the number of uh, nodes will keep uh, consistent now let's check the result so yeah so if you see um, source node 1 and then 2 here and you can check the citations accordingly so here it is source 1 and here it is source 2 and then uh, source 3 as well okay so that uh, this way you can use workflows and event based architecture to uh, create a citation uh, query engine or build rag with inline citations hope you enjoyed the video uh, see you in the next video thank you